Hi loves, this is Dina. I'm here with an AliExpress uh, die cut share. Okay, first of all, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so this die is um, a polka, not polka decks, um, memory decks, sorry. <laughs> so this is a memory decks die that I had picked up and with it cut, it cut out, this is what it looks like. Makes a little a cute little envelope. Okay. Then um, I have this little flower die, and it cuts out all these cute little round scalloped flowers. In all these different sizes and right here you can see also I forgot a green but yeah so it cuts out let's see two four six seven pieces different sizes seven different sizes then I picked up from Alina Cuddle I ended up picking up this little hugs die and I end up cutting out two pieces because there's two pieces here. So I cut the front and the back and I just cut it in two different colors. Um, you can either save the insides and put them back in or you can leave them out, which you can tell I left them out. So that it says hugs. Then I have this other Alina Cuddle um, banner die. And this is what it looks like. Now I cut it on some thick cardstock, so um, the little hearts that are in here most likely would have cut out, um, and I would have had a ton of little hearts. But because I did it on a thicker cardstock, it ended up staying on. So what I could do is I could just glue a sentiment on there. So yeah, that's from Alina Cuddle. This right here. Then I also picked this from Alina Cuddle. This is Alina Crafts, I know, but it's she's changed her name to Alina Cuddle. And this is a five-piece die set. What I ended up doing is I went ahead and used the die set as a border, and then I just filled it in um, If because I still haven't detached it. If I would have detached it, I would have had one piece, but I kept it together. So I went ahead and filled the centers like that except for this one of course okay then I also have this die cut um, die set my I'm sorry tag set um, and there are four pieces in here and this is what it looks like they're a nice set And by the way, this is my very first video like this, so please bear with me. Okay, so this die is um, under the sea um, die, and which would be great for a shaker card. And that's what the die looks like after it's all cut out. I also picked up this Christmas die which ended up coming after Christmas. So um, I was kind of sad about it and bummed out, but it's okay. I can use it for next Christmas, but it says Merry Christmas and that's what the die looks like. I also picked up this other die that looks like a beautiful fan. Um, there's so many different um, things you could do with this particular die. You can use it as um, an opening when you're opening up a card. Um, like gates I guess you could say um, you can use it on the envelope as <clears throat> when you're opening up the envelope there's all kinds of different things you could do with this but I just wanted to show you how pretty it looks cut then we have this scalloped um, heart um, doily which is really pretty. I ended up saving the pieces in the middle, um, the pieces that popped out. I went ahead and saved them because I can use them on different projects. Um, I will take them out of this bag. I just haven't uh, gotten to the point where I'm ready to um, store all my die cuts just yet because I still have some preparation to get my um, die cuts 
put together. I have these um, magnetic sheets that I put them on and I have to cut the magnetic sheets plus I have to put them on some cardboard so that um, they're all together. And then somewhere around here I lost this little heart but there's a heart that goes with this particular die. So that's what it looks like. Isn't that very pretty? Oh my god it's gorgeous. Okay and this one I'm not particularly excited about and really want to show it but I'm going to show it anyway. So there's another one of the, um, I was going to say Pokedex, <laughs> the Memory Dex cards um, dies. And I used it as a background. Um, I kind of messed up because I did not cut the edge. I, I did it to the point where it was above. So it's like right up here. It's above this little cut right here. And I completely forgot to round the edges before I started gluing everything on. And I was just curious to see how this was going to look. And somebody touched my, um, my stickles here. So they didn't work out so good, but you kind of get the idea of what I was going for. So this is the die cut that went with this. Then I also have these numbers dies. And these numbers are so pretty. Everybody's been hauling these lately, and these are just gorgeous. Look at these numbers. Aren't they pretty? And then when they're up against a very pretty color, oh my god, they just look so nice. So they come with all the different numbers. And then also they come with the first, second, third, all the other letters that go with it. Okay. So those are really cute numbers. Also, um, I have this die that is a little unicorn. Everybody has done, has everybody has already hauled this. Um, I'm really late to the party, so um, yeah. Um, so what I did with this one, I just put her all together. And I just added a little bit of stickles here and there just to make her little hair here on her tail and on her mane kind of just, you know, have a little glow to it. And then I also, right here down at the bottom, I added the little feet because I'd already cut it out in the white. So I just added little feet at the bottom. So that's a little unicorn. Then I have this tag die that everybody's been hauling also that has the stitch in it, which is really pretty. Look how pretty this die is. Isn't that a gorgeous die? So with the same die, I ended up making... I added this die and this die together and um, this one right here with the little bunnies and I cut it out with three different colors um, which I didn't really use the white other than here and in the eyes but um, you kind of just piece it back together like a puzzle and then of course I just drew little whiskers on there so yeah this is a little um, tag that I came up with. Then I have this little coffee um, cocoa cup, I guess you would say. Coffee, hot cocoa, coffee. Um, so all these little pieces made this little guy right here. So what I ended up doing is I made a couple different pieces of this cardstock. Um, so it would be nice and thick. And so I did two of the red. I did um, one of the white. And then this little snowflake right here, I did two snowflakes, just um, layered them and then put some stickles on it. And then the little um, white that looks like um, the Cool Whip or the whipped cream, um, I went ahead and used puff paint on that. And then I stickled the little marshmallows here and there. And then of course it has, I should have backed this up because this just looks, it feels so flimsy. But um, this is supposed to be, I guess, the heat coming from it. And yeah, so I stacked it up and I kind of made it look like, I tried to make the cup look like it was open. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but yeah. So that's my little hot cocoa. Then I have Mickey and Minnie little die cuts that are for Valentine's Day, I'm assuming, because of the hearts. Now... When I cut those, this is how it originally, oops, sorry, that's how it originally looks. 
okay and then what I ended up doing is I the pieces all popped out and then I ended up filling up some of the pieces just layering them inside there I put the two uh, no 110 cardstock 10 pound cardstock on the back and then I just glued these little pieces on and so that's what I came up with and I figured I can either leave Mickey and Minnie like this or I can add a silhouette to it and I could do it like that or if I wanted to I could go back with just the hearts and kind of go like that but you kind of they kind of disappear so yeah I think it looks better this way alrighty Then everybody has been hauling these bows. These are Alina Cuddle bows with the little hearts. Okay, and then Erica here on, um, on YouTube, um, she is Erica um, Crafty, 29 and Crafty. Um, I hope I got that right. Um, no, sorry, Craftiva 29. Um, she ended up showing everybody how to cut the edges off on here so you would in other words you would cut two of these in two different colors and then you would cut the edges off and then you would overlap this on the on the top so that you have two different colors so I went ahead and did this one um, with the large and then this one I don't know why but I just decided I like the large better so I went ahead and put the small bow on top of the large and just left it like that. So those are the bows. Now, I don't know where exactly the die cut is for this. I, I must have just slipped um, out of my packet that I had it in. But this is a present die cut. And what you just do, what you do with this one is you cut three different, well, I cut four different colors, I'm sorry. I cut four different colors and then I just saved all the little pieces and then I just put them into the different little slots except for you could tell that I got a piece missing out of here. I must have forgot to glue it. And then I used 110 cardstock on the very back so that it um, was sturdy. Okay. Then I have this little guy, a little carousel horse. Okay, I left all the pieces together. And this is what I came up with after getting it all together. It's kind of pieced in all kinds of different little pieces because I wanted to make sure that the post that was going through the center would stay sturdy. Um, and I wanted to kind of make sure the hair look, you know, look double layered. So yeah, so that's what I came up with for that. Um, oops. And then I have this die cut, which is um, a label that goes around. You could put it around um, a wine bottle. And this is what I ended up coming up with after I cut it all out. And the thing is, these don't these aren't don't really look like grapes. Um, next time when I make this, I'm probably going to use smaller scissors so I can actually round the corners to make it really look like grapes. But I think this is okay for right now. Okay, and then I have these little peeps that I picked up, and I made this little tag, and I just added some little some little blings that I had here and there to you know to go across the top and then I also um, I went around and embossed it kind of I guess you can say it was a little bit weird the way I did it because um, I just did it with a pen and I think my pen's drying out because it doesn't look like I embossed all the way around and then I ended up ordering this little stamp set from AliExpress I saw nurse Tara hey Tara um, haul this I believe she hauled this I saw one of her videos and um, and I saw on here that it said, you're one of my favorite peeps. And so I'm assuming she got it from AliExpress. But um, it was so funny to find this particular stamp set, I had to punch in chickens. So don't do Easter and don't do um, bunnies or something like that, do chicks. 
or chickens. That's what it was, chickens. So it was kind of weird, but yeah, that's how I got to it. Then I end up having this little sled that I did. There's three little presents in here and a Christmas tree. And so this is what I came up with. And I wanted to share really quick. Um, I used the little coffee cup that you saw and this carousel horse. Okay, so the coffee cup, one of these little snowflakes, I just put one on the bottom because it somehow I got it scratched. The, uh, the area right here got scratched, so I wanted to try to cover it up and kind of hide it. So I went ahead and put a snowflake on top. And then these little areas right here with these little swirls, this is the inside. I saved the pieces from the inside of this and just added them on there for some little bit of extra flair. And, and then I, there's only three presents. I just made a couple sets of different presents to put in there to fill it all up. And then I used triple thick and I put triple thick all the way around here just to dress it up a little bit. So yeah, so that's my sled. And then I had mentioned in one of my last videos that I had these bags that I had purchased because I ordered a die, which is this die right here, um, which is a tiny little die. Look at, I mean, you can see with my hands, it's really tiny, okay? So I wanted to see if this would fit, and it actually does. Look, it fits perfect. I would have to bend this a little bit, and then I put the die around it, and that makes a perfect little topper. Okay, so those are these little tiny bags that I ended up picking up at Daiso. Alrighty, and then I have one more, well, two more dies. Um, they're mixed together. Okay, so this is supposed to make um, a deer, and I used all the dies that you see in this little bag except for the seasons. And then this part that was part of it, I have no idea how to put this together. I'm going to have to go back and see if I can figure it out. Because to me, this looks like pizza. I don't know why, but it looks like pizza. But I ended up using this other die, this little um, tag die right here. I used the tag. I used this little um, wider than a square, I guess. And then this little banner. And this is what I came up with. And then I put some triple thick right here along the top just to try to hold it in place so it wouldn't bend so easy. And then the banner that's right here, you fold it so you can see that the banner stands up. And so I just added a little nose and I kind of rounded the edges a little bit on my like poinsettias just to make them look like they're kind of alive, I guess. I don't know. And then I rounded the ears on um, the deer. Okay. And then I just wanted to share these dies, I mean, excuse me, these stamps that I had picked up from AliExpress. Here's a Halloween one that I had picked up. Um, I didn't have a chance to share it because it, um, I just hadn't had uh, a video made yet, so um, I figured I'd share it now. So I have this Halloween one with all kinds of different little um, sayings that are really cute. I picked up this little princess one and it looks like um, Snow White and Cinderella. I picked up this cute little Wonder Woman. This cute little girl that has a little, um, she looks like she kind of got a little small tiny wagon with um, an ornament and a candy cane in it. I found this one that definitely reminds me of Disney. So I picked up this one with the castle. And of course I had to get Mary Poppins because Mary Poppins is Disney. And believe it or not, this one reminds me of the old hag, which is right here, the evil queen, and Maleficent. <laughs> so yeah, I had to pick these up, this one up. And then I picked up this little Halloween one because I love that it said Pumpkin Day. I love anything that has to do with pumpkins. My kitchen is Bambi, but it also has pumpkins and grapes everywhere. So yeah. And then really, really quick, I ended up ordering Tony here on YouTube um, who is Craft Purge 
um, ended up ordering um, a bunch of dies that were really great prices um, from LDRS. And um, I wanted to share this really quick because I thought these were really, really pretty. I think these are still on the site. Um, I'm not sure what the price is on them, but I thought these were really pretty. They're dragonflies, and this one has a key at the end. And I didn't end up doing all the little locks, but um, yeah, so I just did the butterflies. I thought those were really pretty. And then also I wanted to share this little stamp set that I thought thought was really cute. It has some really cute little sayings on it. Um, I only want I only want three things to see you, to hug you, and to kiss you. You are my sunshine. When I see you, my heart smiles. You make my every day. Hello, you. Um, you mean the world to me. You are my knight in shining armor. That's my husband. Um, I love you to the moon and back. Miss you, and you are brilliant, wonderful, and beautiful. And I thought, oh my god, how cute that is. I'm not positive if they still have this on the site, but if they do, these are so cute. So that's my share. Um, I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye!